This is a day in the life of a Japanese casino worker. This is Kento, 27 years old, living in Tokyo, and this is how he gets ready for his day. Unlike most Japanese, he prefers to take a short shower in the morning to start his day. So Kento's job requires him to change into uniform when he arrives, but despite this, he prefers to wear a suit during his commute. In fact, it's common for Japanese men to wear suits even though they will change into another uniform when they reach their workplace. So today, he has Hayaban, which means early shift. Depending on the day, he rotates with other staff between early shift and night shift, or Soban. He says though, his company is careful to avoid scheduling a morning shift following a night shift on the previous day. He lives about 15 minutes away from work by train. He decidedly lives in a relatively less crowded area, mostly residential with some shops and restaurants near the station, so that he has direct train line access to Shinjuku Station, the world's busiest train station with over 3.6 million people passing through daily. It's usually more crowded with people at the station, but today is Saturday so there's far less commuters and salarymen, especially at this time. So it's quite early this morning, but Kento's train should be arriving shortly here in Shinjuku. So how long did you sleep last night? Before he arrives at work, he stops at the convenience store to pick up his lunch. Oh, he's paying via phone app, which is relatively new in Japan as about 80% of transactions are still cash-based. So Kento works at Maruhan, one of the largest casino entertainment companies in Japan, with 60 years of history and more than 23,000 employees. Maruhan offers slot machines and pachinko, which has become an integral part of Japanese culture, accounting for one-third of the Japanese entertainment and leisure market. And don't worry, I'll explain pachinko a little bit later on in this video. Before Kento clocks in, he usually has a quick smoke at the smoking room next to the main office. In fact, Japan is well known for its open smoking culture compared to many Western countries. But from April 2020, Japan completely bans indoor smoking except for designated smoking rooms like this one. So once clocked in, he has to change into his uniform. Kento, what are you doing? So he also needs to change into work shoes. I guess the man knows what he likes. So the company actually dry cleans all the worker shirts at the end of each day so they look fresh and clean when they start work. What's that? Damn, you need to carry more tools with you? To complete his uniform, he wears a wireless headset in order to communicate with other staff throughout the day. Is that a floor map? And since his picture is set aside, he has the free roaming position today. So Kento just arrived at work, he's changed, he's ready to go. Now he has to go around and prepare the casino area. Let's see what he does. So Kento works as a pachinko parlor hall manager, and his first task of the morning is to ensure that all of the machines are working properly. He checks to see if the balls are moving correctly, balls are not left over from the previous day, and that a guidebook is set on the side of each machine. He does this one by one for each machine on the floor. Next, he must ensure that all of the floor signage is working properly.
So you need to clean outside too? And this is a line for customers waiting to enter so they can get their first pick of the machines. The doors actually open at 10 a.m. today, but customers start lining up just before 9. Interestingly though, the parlor hosts a morning lottery to decide who gets to enter first and their choice of the machine. So it's Kento's job to also organize the line so that customers don't block pedestrians walking through. Like many traditional Japanese companies, Kendo's workplace starts the day with a morning meeting called Chode. But their morning meeting is a little more energetic than most as they perform koedashi, which means they practice speaking clearly and loudly in proper language in unison. Because the pachinko hall is a loud working environment, it's critical for the staff to be able to speak to customers and each other clearly at a high volume. Now he gets a short break. You're number one? How did you win? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so there's more than a thousand people line up outside. I can't wait to see what happens when they all get in here. <laughs> Finally, lottery time. They have a special machine, aptly called Fortune, for customers to draw tickets. And again, it's Kenta's job to organize the people in line. <laughs> When the hall opens, Kendo focuses on greeting and welcoming each and every customer that enters. Wow, only a few minutes after opening, the floor is filled with customers. Now, he must walk around the floor to assist the customers if they have any questions or need help. From here, it appears that he's super close to the customer, but it's a necessary distance since the hall is extremely loud. Time. Yes. Yay! Finally, lunch time! So his lunch breaks are only 30 minutes long, so he needs to be quick. To save time, he usually eats convenience store food in the <laughs> office. Today, he went with a curry bento, which actually looks pretty good. <laughs> As part of his job, he also has a bit of computer work. He needs to verify the hikitsugi, which is basically a daily record of events from the shift before him. Staff must report what happened during the shift with things like machines, customers, etc. and share it with the next shift so there isn't a break in their service quality. So while Kento is doing some work right there, let me kind of show you around and show you how this whole thing works. So Maruhan has pachinko and slot machines. Slot machines are fairly universal, so let me explain how to play pachinko. Pachinko is a type of mechanical ball game resembling pinball, but instead with many tiny balls and with the aim to drop the balls into a specific pocket in the machine. If one of the balls goes into the designated pocket called stato chaka, it will initiate a slot machine-like roll on the LCD screen. If the numbers or patterns line up, then it's a jackpot, and then your winnings, more balls, will be dispensed in the bottom of the tray. So here's the interesting part. The winnings can be used to claim various prizes like these offered at the front desk, but cannot be claimed for cash directly since gambling is prohibited by Japanese law. Instead, the winnings can be exchanged into gold chips. Then outside at a neighboring TUC shop, the gold chips can be exchanged for cash. Oh, and they even have an app which reports the usage history and winning statistics from each machine, which is one of the reasons why many customers want to come early and get their choice of the machine. Now he's back in the hall, and similar to the morning, he attends the customers. But as the machines get used by customers, he must ensure that each machine remains clean, so he wipes down each machine and takes trash away from customers. 
In Japanese customer service, there's an old saying, Okyaksama wa kamisama, which directly translated, customers are God, which basically means that even if the customers are saying something wrong, you still apologize, while also being extremely polite and careful to never get in the customer's way. Oh, he found a ball on the floor. In this case, he usually gives it to the closest customer sitting down. So when a customer continues to win, they eventually run out of space for their winnings. When that happens, Kento's job is to create more space for them. He uses this special cart to store the balls or medals which is locked up so no one steals it. Oh, I guess the customer has taken a meal break, so during this time, Kento turns off the machine so that other customers can't use it. This is a coin counter for the slot machines. He's also responsible for helping clean the toilets. Now, he gets another short break. So how many breaks do you get in a day? So what are you doing now? はい、今はあのデータチェックをやっております。うちの1160台パチンコスロットあるんですけれども、そのデータを1台1台全て確認します。So he does this several times a day looking for data errors and potential fraud. If he discovers a problem, he immediately notifies the floor staff to resolve the issue, ensuring that customers have an enjoyable experience. Oh, there's number one. He's working on something. What are you doing right now? Now he's reviewing the security camera footage. Apparently, the system can register customers who steal. Via face recognition, the system can even detect these customers despite covering up with hats or masks. So as part of being the hall manager, Kanto must evaluate the floor staff periodically. His company emphasizes superior customer service, so frequent evaluations is a crucial part of maintaining their level of service. Oh nice, they have a how-to playbook in different languages for foreign customers. Oh, she's a new employee. You can tell by the yellow and green badge on her shirt. And he's gonna give her feedback now. He tells me that when he was on the other end of the table, when he first started, the process allowed him to learn a lot about customer service. Now, it's his turn to write up the hikitsugi for the next shift so they can see what happened today. Finally, it's time to wrap up the shift with Shude, a final staff meeting. In this meeting, staff share what happened during the day and use it as a learning moment so they can better perform in the future. At the end, the staff perform a pocket check to help prevent staff theft. Oh, it's her last day of work, so she's giving a speech. In Japan, it's customary for staff to present a shikishi, a huge card with messages on it. <laughs> Yay! Now we're done with work. Instead of going home, Kento usually goes out for dinner and drinking with his co-workers. So now, they're headed to the restaurant to meet up with some of their co-workers. In Japan, drinking at dinner with a group of people is called nomikai, often held at an izakaya drinking restaurant. For many Japanese, nomikais are an important part of work culture, as this is where they really get to know their co-workers, which helps create a stronger bond at the workplace. In fact, Kento says that many of the staff live on the same train line, so they often go out with each other. So Kento and his co-workers are going to be here probably until 10 o'clock, eating and drinking, and then after that, who knows, because they're in Shinjuku. But it's pretty much the day in the life of a Japanese casino worker. So if you guys like this video, help me out and hit the like button. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the Tokyo merch right here. And if you guys want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. And finally, if you guys want to see more day in the life videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.